If you have multiple different credit cards and you need a good way to manage them all in one place, well, you've come to the right video. Today, I thought I'd bring y'all in to let you know a little bit more about how I actually manage my credit cards and one of the main apps that I use to do this. And that app, of course, is gonna be Max Rewards. And right off the bat, I should say that no, I'm not sponsored by Max Rewards and they've never reached out to me, nor have I reached out to them. So it's gonna be a completely honest review of their app, talking about both the positives and the negatives that the app has to offer. So no matter where you're at in your credit journey or what opinions you already have on this app because of all the ads you've seen on YouTube about it, I'm hoping that this video will give you all a pretty brutally honest review of this app to see if it's worth it for you to download and start using. On top of just a broad review of this app in general, I'm also gonna address the question, is Max Rewards Gold worth it for you? And before we jump into the interface itself, we should probably just talk about what this app actually does. And the simplest way for me to explain it is that it's a hub for all of your credit card accounts that'll help you track certain things like your rewards balances, your annual fees, the balances on your cards, your spend towards a welcome bonus, what card you should use where, and more. And for the most part, it does cover about everything you're going to need to know about your credit cards and how to use them strategically to earn rewards. And not only does it do that on an individual card basis, but it also accumulates all that information onto one app for you to see it all in one place. Now let's go ahead and get into the interface itself. Okay, and I've just loaded up the app from scratch, so you'll be able to see now what the home screen looks like. And this main screen is gonna have all the information that you need to know about your credit accounts, including the balances that you have on it, the rewards balances, and everything like that. So at the top of the screen, you're gonna see four main categories that are the most important things for you to know. And as you can see here, it shows you your rewards balance, your cards balance, your credit utilization, and your available credit. This is gonna be an accumulation of all of your credit cards that you've linked to Max Rewards. So of course, whenever you get this app for the first time, you're gonna to wanna to go to the top right corner of the screen and click on the add card button. At that point, you can see all the different card lenders that are offered on Max Rewards for you to be able to track from. And for the most part, they're gonna cover everything you need in this little screen here. So once you add all of your cards into the app, these top four boxes are gonna update with your correct information for your cards. Now this is one thing that I really like about the app just right up front is that I am able to see all these things in a quick snapshot. So I sometimes just come on here like once a week to see how my rewards balances are doing. And I also like to see all of my card balances in one place without having to go into each of the apps individually. Now continuing down on this home screen, you're gonna be able to see all the different bills that you have coming up on your card accounts. So for me, I have my Chase Freedom Unlimited and my OG Chase Freedom that are scheduled to be paid on September 30th. And another really cool feature is that on the right, as you see there, it does tell you if you have auto pay enabled or not. So if you load all of your cards into your account and that does not say auto pay on, then you realize that you're gonna to have to pay that bill manually. And of course, we never wanna to have to do that. So this is really cool to see that I know my auto pay is on and never have to worry about it. And continuing down the page a bit, you'll come to the bonus tracker section of the app. And this of course is gonna keep track of your welcome bonus spending requirements and how much you've actually put towards that. So for me right now, I'm tracking my Amex Gold card, which has a $4,000 welcome bonus spend limit. And it's really cool to have that information in front of me every time I load up the app to see if I'm gonna hit it in time, because as you can see, it also tells me how many days I have left to hit that welcome bonus spend. This is also something that's kind of fun to watch as that bar continues to tick up and it adds a little bit of gamification to the whole idea of credit card welcome bonus spend. And now if you scroll down a little bit further, you're gonna be greeted by all the different cards that you have linked to this account and all the information that have to do with them. So for me, all five of my credit cards are linked right here. And as you can see, if you look at just the American Express Gold card account, for example, it's gonna tell me my rewards balance that I have on the card, both in dollar form and in points. It's also gonna tell me my balance on that card as of right now. Under that total balance as well, it will tell you your utilization on that card right now. So if you look down one below that at my Chase Freedom Unlimited, you can see that I'm at a 1.3% credit utilization on that card. Now with the American Express Gold card, of course, that is a charge card, meaning that it doesn't have a set credit limit. And that's why you're not gonna see that there. And lastly, at the bottom of this home screen, you're gonna be greeted by your credit scores. And for the most part, these do update semi-regularly. As you can see, my last updated for my Chase account was 19 days ago, City was 22 days ago, and Amex was 24 days ago. So this doesn't exactly tell you your TransUnion or Experian or Equifax scores or anything like that, but it does give you a pretty good idea of where your credit score sits in those particular lenders' eyes. Okay, now that we've covered the home screen of the app, let's go ahead and go to the next tab on the bottom. That's gonna give you your transactions history, as well as the summary of your transactions within the week, month, or year. So let's go ahead and start with your transaction history, which shows you all the different purchases you've made on all of your cards combined in one place. And while this is really cool to see all at once, it is a little bit overwhelming for me. So what I generally like to look at on this tab in particular is the amount of rewards that I've earned on those purchases. So as you can see on this Chick-fil-A purchase I made here in Austin, I got 4.1% back on that purchase. If you click on the details of that purchase, you'll see the exact percentage form and the dollar amount that you earned with that purchase. Not only that, but you'll see of course the posted date, the transaction date, the amount of the purchase, the amount of points earned, and your point valuation that you've assigned to these points in particular, and the amount of rewards you earned. So this has been pretty helpful for me because I do like to go back through and see how much I was rewarded for certain purchases so I know exactly what card to use in the future and if I use the right one in the past. Now let's go ahead and go over to the summary tab, which will give you a pretty cool idea of what you've actually spent in certain categories on all of your cards combined, as well as the total spending you've done with the total amount of rewards you've earned. So for example, for August, we can see my total spending here between specific dates. And on top of that, you can see the amount of rewards you earned for those purchases 
purchases. And you can see even a breakdown of all the different categories that those purchases were made in. Now, for the most part, for me, I have most all of my transactions fall under that other category, which isn't super helpful, but at least it does give you somewhat of a good idea of what you're spending on. I would definitely recommend apps more like Mint Mobile or Truebill or something like that if you want to really track what you've been spending in. And for me, I actually use personal capital for that. I don't know if y'all have heard of that app, but it's been pretty helpful for me. But for a quick overview to see what I've actually been spending in, this is pretty helpful. Now, moving on to the tab that I definitely use the most out of this whole entire app, besides the home screen, I guess, would be this middle tab. And of course, I don't want to show y'all exactly where I live. So I went ahead and switched the location of where my app is pulling this information from. But as you can see, it gives you some really cool information about what stores are around you or what restaurants are around you and what card you should use at those specific places. So at this location that I chose, Chipotle is really close nearby and I'd be getting 4% back on that with my Amex Gold card. And that's just super helpful to know. For example, maybe if you're in an airport or something like that and you weren't exactly sure what those restaurants in the airport were gonna code as, you could just pull out the Max Rewards app and it would tell you what card to use at that specific restaurant to get the most value. And also you can select to do nearby locations. You can select a location on a map if you're going on a road trip, for example, or if you're going to a specific place that you already know the location of, you can search that beforehand to see what card you should bring with you. And I do use this tab a ton. And of course, at this point, I do have a pretty good understanding of what cards I need to use where, but this is still really helpful when I'm in a place that I don't really know very well. Another cool thing that I haven't actually seen before is gonna be this offer that's in the middle of my screen for Chili's. Apparently, if I spend $40 or more at Chili's right now, I can get $10 back. And I assume that's because I have my Amex offers activated in the app with Max Rewards Gold. So it's showing me what offers I have available near me, which is pretty sweet. Now, moving on to the next tab along the bottom, we're gonna go to the benefits and offer section. Now, this section is not gonna be available for everybody, specifically if you don't have Max Rewards Gold, then you're not gonna be able to see all the details that I have here. And for the longest time, I never even touched this tab, but I did wanna actually get Max Rewards Gold for y'all so I could review it for you in a way that's pretty honest. And this is the really big pull of Max Rewards Gold for me, was that it's gonna automatically activate all of your credit card offers, specifically with like Chase and Amex, for example. And literally within like minutes of me actually activating Max Rewards Gold, all of the offers that I have on my account were activated. So right now I have 325 offers activated on my cards and I didn't have to click a single button to do that. If I was to do that all manually, of course, that's gonna take me a lot more time. And now of course, yeah, I'm not gonna be using all of these 325 offers. I may even use only three of them, but if Max Rewards Gold didn't activate these offers for me, I probably would have never used them. So at least I get some cash back for that. So this tab is gonna be split into multiple different categories from your favorited offers, the last chance offers, and the new offers. The favorited offers are gonna be what they sound like. You're gonna be able to pick certain offers out of here and favorite them so that they appear at the top of your list. The last chance offers are gonna be ones that expire pretty soon, so you need to jump on them quick if you want them. And then the new offers are gonna be offers that just popped up on your card that you should be aware of. So to be honest with you, I don't really navigate to this tab very much because Max Rewards does all this automatically for me. I never wanna be spending money that I wasn't gonna spend in the first place just to get some kind of offer because that kind of defeats the purpose of saving money with offers in the first place if I was to spend more money to get them. But I will scroll through here every once in a while just to see if anything catches my eye. Now switching over to the benefits tab of the benefits and offers section. And this is gonna be split up into three different categories, your favorited benefits, your monthly benefits, and your annual benefits. So to be honest, this is kind of the first place I have a bit of a gripe with Max Rewards Gold and also where I see some other apps doing a little bit better than them in this regard. As you can see from my screen, it appears that I have seven different monthly offers going on right now. And on the surface, this looks pretty cool. Like it does show me all of the active ones I have and how much they're worth every single month. And while the Amex Gold offers are correct, the Chase cards are the ones that I have a problem with. And to understand why, we're gonna go ahead and click into one of these DoorDash credits. And although it is showing up as a $10 per month credit, all it really is is three months of complimentary Dash Pass with DoorDash. So it's kind of misleading to say that I do have a $10 per month credit when that's not really the case. One thing I don't know is that if I did actually use these credits on my cards and get those three months complimentary, if those credits would go away or not on this tab. And if it didn't, then I would definitely have even more of a gripe with it. The other unfortunate thing is that I know that I have $10 per month GoPuff credits on all three of my Chase cards. And of course those aren't showing up here. And those for me would be much more valuable than seeing this DoorDash complimentary three month subscription. But going into more detail on my Amex Gold credits that are correct, you can see here that it actually tells me exactly how much I've spent in this month in that specific credit category. And from the looks of it, I really did think that this app was gonna automatically account for all the spend that I've done in these monthly credits. But if you click further into this September box, you can see that it looks like you might actually have to manually update it. And to be honest, I don't have much experience with this just yet, so I'm gonna have to report back on that. And to me, if it doesn't automatically update, that's a big miss on Max Rewards part because that's something that's pretty hard to find. And I know competitors out there like Card Pointers, for example, do have similar features. So having it auto update with Max Rewards Gold would be kind of key in my opinion. Let me know down below if this does actually auto update for you or if you have to manually input it every single time you use a credit. Moving away from the monthly credits, we can actually also see our annual credits that post on each one of our cards. Some of this is a little bit wonky to me because it does show that I have like trip cancellation and interruption insurance, which isn't necessarily super helpful for me to know on a yearly basis, but I guess it is nice to keep track of. For me, this section would be much more helpful for the second one here on my Chase Sapphire Preferred, for example, which is my $50 annual hotel credit. And it does look like this 
this one might automatically update after you get that credit on an annual basis. So maybe that's the same thing for the month of credits. Hopefully y'all will let me know about that down below because I can't find anything about it online. It'll also break up all of your credits into categories. And I personally haven't found this extremely helpful just yet, but I guess it is kind of good to know what categories your credits fall under. And while I'm within this tab, I should mention that Max Rewards does pride itself not only on activating your offers for you automatically, but also those monthly credits. Again, I don't personally have experience with that automatically updating for me, but I'm pretty sure it also does activate your Chase quarterly categories as well, which is pretty sweet. And of course, the last tab we need to look at is gonna be the personal tab, which is in the very bottom right of your screen. And now that we're in here, of course, I can go ahead and plug my refer a friend link. If you do wanna get this app by the end of this video, feel free to use that link because it does give me a month of free gold and it will get you one as well. However, I did already prepay for my gold subscription this year. So I'm not just making this video to get my max rewards gold for free. There's a couple of cool things that I do wanna point out here. This is mainly just gonna be a settings page for you, but it has some other cool features. For example, it does have this card share page in the middle of my screen right now. It's gonna let you share all the different cards that you have with your referral codes. So as you can see here, it has my American Express Gold, Sapphire Preferred, Freedom Unlimited, City Custom Cash, and my OG Chase Freedom. And all of those, you can see that I could send this link to somebody and they'd be able to apply with these links. And I'd of course get some kickback as it is my referral code. You can also kind of customize this page to look how you want it to whenever you send the link to friends. And then under that card sharing page, you're gonna have your general preferences to make the app look how you want it to. And then you'll have the gold section of the personalization page. And the first thing that I'm gonna have with my Max Rewards Gold is the ability to change my app icon to whatever I want it to be, which I guess is pretty cool. As you can see here, I originally got this app because of the Credit Shifu or Ben Hedges. So that's gonna be the person I was referred by. And if you let me refer you, then my name's gonna show up there. On top of that, you can see your subscription details and all the credits that you have with Max Rewards Gold. So if you refer some friends to it, that's gonna show you how many months of free gold you will have. Now that we've gone over all the different tabs within Max Rewards itself, just so you could get an idea of what you'd be seeing with yours. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all some of the gripes I have with the app and some of the things that I think are really worth it. So the first issue that I have with this app is every single time that I log in, I generally have to actually resync some of my cards. So for example, my city account here, you can see is having some issues syncing, which may not be a max rewards issue. It could be a city privacy issue, but it does seem to happen with either my city or my Amex cards every single time I log in. And generally how I fix that is to go ahead and refresh at the top of the page. It's gonna start syncing all of my cards. But as you can see there, my American Express card is gonna require some further activation. And my city card actually did sync this time around, which it didn't do yesterday. But now to re-verify my Amex account, I just have to log in through max rewards on my phone. And then now my accounts are refreshed and synced. So sometimes it just takes that extra step to get everything in the right place. And after that, everything's pretty set. And as for just the general app itself, not the gold version of Max Rewards, that's probably my biggest gripe is that I have to do that almost every single time I get onto the app. And when it comes to the gold version of this app, as I mentioned earlier, the benefits and offer section could use a little bit of work in my opinion, but I think they're in a pretty good spot. Now I wanna show you all a couple of really helpful features that I've learned just by using this app for a few months at this point. The first thing is gonna be that if you come back to this best card tab, you can go in the top right and select the settings icon. And first of all, you can go ahead and select the amount of columns that show up on that screen itself, but you're also able to edit your favorite categories in here. So you can actually add certain things that you would rather see, and you can take off others that might be a duplicate or you just don't care to see them on that main screen. On top of that, you can also adjust the point valuations for all the rewards that you earn on each card. As you can see here, I have Amex's membership rewards points, City's thank you points, and Chase ultimate rewards points, all given a one cent per point valuation. But if I wanted to, I could go in here and change my actual valuation for membership rewards points to say two cents per point, for example. And in doing so, if I save this and go back to my home screen, you'll be able to see that my rewards balance has been updated to increase to that new level that I've adjusted those points to be valued at. So obviously I don't have many Amex membership rewards points right now because I'm about to hit my first welcome bonus on my Amex gold, which would give me 90,000 points. And at that point, that would make a big difference in my rewards balance on my accounts. So for simplicity's sake, I set all of my redemption values at one cent per point for each point system. That way I have that solid base that I can adjust in my brain whenever I'm going to actually make redemptions. Because for me, for example, I do value my Amex and Chase points at two cents per point because I like to transfer those out to travel partners. I've made full videos going more in depth on those topics if you wanna watch those later. So this app, just like any other app out there, is gonna have some positives and some negatives that come with it. And I would say that the free version of this app is gonna be right for the majority of people. So if you wanna give it a shot, I would go ahead and download it. The only thing you're giving up, of course, is gonna be some of the access to your information on your credit card accounts, but it's not like you're giving it out to the public. You're just giving it to Max Rewards to help you better understand your cards and how to use them. I really only recommend getting Max Rewards Gold if you really care about activating those offers automatically on all of your cards. Now, of course, for me, I'm still in the early testing stages of using that perk. So I haven't actually earned any cash back from that yet, but I'm really interested to see at the end of the year, if I do get positive value by having those automatically activated compared to the amount that I paid for Max Rewards Gold for a year. And that's definitely a video that I can make down the line if y'all are interested. There are some other apps out there that do some very similar things, but I think Max Rewards is one of the best out there because they've been around the longest and they understand what customers need. And as you saw, one of the best perks about this app is that you can see all of your rewards balances in one place. And if you're like me and you have a bunch of chase cards, for example,
example, where you have a high balance of rewards on your accounts, then you're probably gonna wanna learn about all the different ways that you can redeem your chase points for maximum value. So if so, go ahead and watch this video next. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and hearing my thoughts on the Max Rewards app and whether Max Rewards Gold is even worth it for you. And I hope you gained some valuable insight from me doing this. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you guys next time.